Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be playing in Speed with Fire BFB Colosseum. One of the coolest arenas out there. So much fun and it's pretty rare too. So today we'll be going for the Ninja, the Boomerang and the Ace. Uh, our loadout is going to be, I think that's Big Bloom Slow, right? Yeah, Big Bloom Slow, Rubber to Gold and Gluestone of course. Just in case our opponent has Quick Shot and Team Tower Sun and that shit. So yeah, we kind of want to play it safe. Usually I would go for a Lightning, but... I just died to someone who had Team Tower Stun, so I don't want that happening again. Um, but yeah, we're going to be starting off this Boomerang, and you might know this arena. I've done quite a few videos on this arena in the past. Um, just because of this cool power here, the rubber to gold, it's actually insane. You make so much money from literally just popping balloons, so that's crazy. Uh, looks like our opponent is going to go for the bomb. Most of the players here end up going for the Glaive Ricochet because it's so good against group balloons. But this guy is different, I guess. He's built different, man. But yeah, we're going to be going for the rub to gold here. And as you can clearly see, we're making a lot of money. And that's why the Glade Ricochet is so good. Like, look at that. <laughs> that's insane. It looks so cool, though. Um, so yeah, we're just going to be constantly sending here. We're going to be switching to greens. He's also going to be using the rubber to gold. And I think at this point, we might have to go for another boomerang. Let's go for another Glaive Ricochet. We're just going to wait for our power to recharge. And then we're going to be sending uh, some yellows towards him. With the rubber to gold, of course. So let's wait for that. Uh, he has got his cluster bombs up. And there we go. Okay, right. So infinitely send these yellows. He's going to do the exact same thing. It's not looking too good on his side. Looks like he's going to go for the lightning. All right. Uh, we're doing just fine with our Glaive Ricochets, as you can see. Of course, it's kind of luck dependent. Sometimes the Glaives kind of just mess up. But most of the time, you will be defending here with these two Glaive Ricochets. He's actually struggling. Holy crap. Yeah, he should not have gone for the Blue Impact. He just kind of needed to go for two uh, Colossal Bombs, I guess, to defend. He's going to be using the last Rubber to Gold here, and this is going to be insane, boys. Let's try not die here. Keep on sending. We've got the Glaive Lord, and look at that money, man. This is crazy. <laughs> Like, we literally have 1,500 eco, and it's round 9. That is absolutely mental. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be continuously sending here. You definitely want to keep in mind that ceramics are going to be coming out on, I think, round 13. And, you know, just in case your opponent has quick shot team tar on, you need the glue, that's for sure. So, uh, don't waste your glues early game. And uh, round 12, we're going to be going for a ninja. Right here, we're going to go for this guy. All right. And um, I might actually go for... Oh, he's got the ninja and the village. Okay, that's a pretty interesting loadout. Now, I definitely know how to beat this guy. I think we could go for like an all-out round 22 fast cooldowns UMG rush. That's definitely going to work. But um, we'll see, we'll see. So, it's going to continuously send Eco here. He's not going for any rush whatsoever. So, that is good news for us. Um, and yeah, we've got the ace as well. Which is really good. I think that's really important because uh, most of your opponents will be going Cobra. This guy is kind of an exception here. Uh, many of your opponents in this arena are going to be going Cobra and they're going to be just sending some huge rushes like really early. So that's why I've got the Ace just in case. Um, and of course it's a really good tower when you go late game so that's pretty cool. And I also chose to go for the Big Balloon Slow. Um, a power that you don't really see that often but it can be super helpful. Um, like, it's really good when you use it properly, especially in this arena, since it's speed with fire, uh, the balloons are actually double speed, I believe, so uh, it's super hard to defend late game, and that power can really save us, so that's why I chose the big balloon slow. I think this is literally the only arena where you would use the rubber to gold and the big balloon slow, which is pretty funny. Um, I think he stopped sending eco. No, he's still sending. So I'm actually going to go for another Glaive Lord right about here. I'm just going to be spamming some ninjas. You know, I just want those for damage. I'm not going to show my ace just yet because uh, he's definitely not allowed to know that I've got the ace. Like, it would be great if you just all out rushed us with some CMGs or BFBs. That would be awesome because we could just destroy that with the ace ability. Um, and I'm actually going to be selling this guy here. I'm going to go for uh, a ninja. So we're kind of just showing him that we are building up some defense. Just kind of scare him off from sending us anything. It's going to go for a bit more. Um, and continuously send some eco. It looks like he's got, um, wow, okay. He's going for a bunch of those guys. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that's going to work out for him. So, hmm, now that I think of it, with the village ability, that could be a pretty good loadout. Um, this might actually go a bit late game. So, that's pretty much the reason why I chose the big being slow. Just in case it goes late, you know? 
So um, by the way, guys, if you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe. We just hit 20,000 subscribers and my goal is to hit 50k this year. It sounds pretty insane, but I think you can do it. And since only a really small percentage of you guys watching right now are subscribed, I think there's a decent chance of us making it to 50k by 2022. But uh, yeah, it looks like this guy is actually spamming the ninjas as well. Uh, and I have to say, um, the village is really good. The village is really good combined with the ninja, that's for sure. And there's nothing you can really do to us right now. I mean, if he goes for a huge rush and it's going to slow it down um, and just go for, you know, a bunch of ace abilities, I think my micro is pretty decent, so, um, especially on the right side. On the left side, it's a bit harder, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be putting most of these guys on strong because uh, we really want the ninjas to affect the COMG layer, guys, so that's really important. Um, and yeah, looks like this game might be going a little late. Now, he is still building defense. He's actually going to keep on sending eco as well. So I think my goal is to go for 10,000 eco and then just eventually go for like an all out round, I don't know, 30 rush or something. Maybe 32, who knows. Uh, but yeah, let's keep on sending here. It's going to take quite a while. So I'm actually going to play it safe and just place on a few more ninjas just in case he decides to go for a massive rush or something, who knows. Might happen. Um, yeah, let's go for a bunch of 4-0 balloon jitsu ninjas right here. I guess I could kind of start spamming the entire um, map with these guys. I don't know. Well, I remember I definitely played a game in this arena that went pretty late, and there was absolutely no chance of defending around 32 ZMG. They were so strong and so fast. So I might go for like around 30 rush, but I'm kind of scared that his defense is good enough. I really don't know. I'm just gonna probably stop sending for now. I don't think it's worth it to go for 10k after all. Uh, yeah, the rounds are going by really fast right now. So, just keep on building defense, I guess. Go for these guys. And uh, this is definitely gonna be a lot of micro involved, man, with this strategy, that's for sure. Uh, his strategy is not much micro aligned. I mean, he just builds all of his defense and uses some abilities, but I will have to constantly sell and rebuy the, um, you know, the, the ace ability, I guess. Okay, so it's round 31, and I'm actually gonna be using my ability and I'm just gonna rush him, guys. Let's go, all right. Let's go. He didn't slow down, so we have an advantage already. And right here, I'm going to go for the big balloon slow, which is going to help us out a lot. So we're definitely not going to try and defend these guys, uh, at least not for now. <laughs> it's going to continuously send here. Uh, this is definitely going to be helping us a lot. We can use our ace eventually. Okay, looks like... We're going to have to go for some ace abilities after all. Let's see, are we going to win this, boys? I don't know. Oh. Oh, we won. Hey, let's go. I was actually starting to struggle right there. Uh, I would have used another Big Bling Slum. We would have definitely won that game, but good game. Good game nonetheless. Oh, we quit. Whatever. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one. All right, boys, we are back on Yin Yang. Pretty cool map. It's a good water tower map, uh, that's, that's for sure. So I don't know how well we'll be doing against the balloons here <laughs> with this boomer. I'm thinking of going for a Bionic first. This is not a great map when it comes to defending pinks and blacks with the Glaive Ricochet. So I'm thinking, let's just go for the Bionic Boomerang, play it safe, and then eventually go for uh, the Glaive Ricochet later on. So yeah, let's put this on last. And instantly use our first rubber to gold here. And I think we should be good here against these blues at least. I know we're going to be struggling to greens. I already know that. But until the power runs out, I'm just going to be continuously sending here. Okay, I ran out now. So I think I'm just going to have to go for this guy right here. Actually, I should probably be in range. I'm just going to place it like right here. Put this on close. Yeah, I think close should be good. All right, close. Put this back on first. And as soon as the yellows come out, I'm going to be sending them. Okay, so let's go and use that. Has he got Cobra? That's the question. Looks like he doesn't. I actually faced a Cobra player before, but he died to AI, so I didn't want to include that into the video. That would have been pretty boring. <laughs> so, but yeah, it looks like this guy... Oh, are we going to be struggling to those yellows? Actually, we might. I'm going to go for another one of these guys. And uh, now for these pinks. Let's go and use the last rubber to gold here. That's going to give us a lot of eco. Nice, dude. This is looking pretty really good. Up to 1,400 eco already. Let's see if we can get 2,000 by round 10. That would be epic. Let's actually get up a few ninjas. Let's go and send him that BFB. 
going to be activating my ability right now. I'm just going to be going for a bunch of balloon jitsus here. I just want to see if he's got like ice or something because I actually played against ice the other day. Um, and it actually defended really well, but uh, looks like he's not revealing his third tower. Okay, uh, good for you, I guess. Well played. Um, that's going to make things uh, more interesting, I guess. So let's keep on sending that eco. He doesn't know we have ace, that's for sure, because nobody's watching on Battles TV. And I think they actually changed it, so you can't actually see what towers your opponents have if you're watching a live game. That's just really good, because many people used to just go on their second accounts to watch uh, the game live. Uh, to see what powers their opponents have. Uh, so I'm really glad that Jakubi changed that. But yeah, we're going to be continuously sending these pings, man. Thing is doing the same. And uh, we have a solid defense. And once again, if he goes for some huge rush, it's going to try and make him send as much as possible and then just use the ace. And that should be good. All right, round 24. Our eco is really solid right now. Um, do we manage to be able to get 10,000 eco this time? <laughs> That's pretty insane. Uh, but as you could probably tell last game, we were actually able to defend those ZMGs pretty easily. So, what does that mean? Uh, that means we should probably rush a bit later. Yeah, that's for sure. Maybe around 32, 33, something like that. Oh wait, he just went for the Sabo. So that means I'm going to be slowing down the balloons as well. Just in case he goes for a rush or something. Oh, he's going for that, alright. Okay, boys, uh, it's time to defend. Um, let's use the big balloon slow here. Put these guys on strong so that all of the layers get popped. And it looks like he actually made a huge mistake because we're going to be easily be able to defend this rush, boys. Trust me. He actually used the boost right now. I think he also might have big balloon slow, but... Uh, his loadout is definitely weaker than ours, that's for sure. This is going to be micring here. Um, looks like those balloons are quite strong, actually. But uh, we did defend. Alright, let's go for this guy here, I guess. Let's keep on getting up ninjas. Uh, as soon as he uses an ability, you definitely want to use one as well. That's actually a really smart thing to do. Um, oh. Going for some more balloons towards us. So we're going to be using the big balloon slow here. Let's see. It's not choke here. Oh, I think he might die. And we win. Let's go. That was a pretty good game. So as you can see, yeah, Ace is definitely superior to Submarine. Uh, it's him a GG. And I'll see you guys in the last one. All right, boys and girls, we are back and we're facing the one and only Robin on YouTube. What a legend. Alright, but yeah, we're going to be going for the usual start here for our boomerang, and he's doing the same thing here. So this time we've actually got a pretty short map, so I'm like 90% sure this guy's got Cobra, alright? We'll find out later on, of course, but I'm pretty sure this guy's got Cobra. So, looks like this spot is actually really good. As you can see, the glaives, they go through this bend here and pop most of the balloons, so that's cool. I'm going to go for Bionic here ASAP, and now it's time to use our first rubber the gold. Let's see, has he got eco nerf? He doesn't. Okay. That is good news for us, that's for sure. Uh, if you guys didn't know, eco nerf is kind of the counter to rubber to gold. Um, I don't know how much it nerfs it actually. Is it like half the eco? I'm not quite sure. But uh, yeah, we're going to be going for some of these greens now. He's actually going to be using rubber to gold, so instead of sending, I'm just going to stop for a sec and go for one of these guys. I'm um, going to put it on close actually. And just wait for his rubber to gold to run out. And I think it's time now. So let's go and keep on sending these guys here. I really hope this defense is enough to defend yellows. I guess we will find out soon. Alright. Switch to yellows here. Um, yeah, I think the fact that I put my Glaive Ricochet on close. That just does a much better job. So I'm doing really well right now. Eventually. Okay, round 35, boys. Uh, let's go. Let's go. All right, okay. So we have some extra time here until the ZMGs come out. So let's build up that defense, man. Let's get prepared. Build that defense. All right. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna be using our first big balloon slow here. And make sure to keep on sending those guys. And I think we might actually win, boys. He wasn't even able to defend one. That's kind of sad, dude. <laughs> All right. Well, I have to say this strategy is definitely the best strat out there, in my opinion. If you guys don't think so, then tell me in the comments and uh, send him a GG. And yeah, boys, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.